much for being so patient with me. And it's great to see you all coming out to your PTO and SIC meetings. So thank you. As was mentioned earlier, my name is Shelby Elise Simmons. I'm the Parent Involvement Coordinator for the District, and I work at the Title I office. Let's this is the annual meeting of Title I. It presents the information regarding what Title I is doing in our school district, and specifically at this school. We want to start off with our mission. Our mission supports the district mission, and we provide resources and services to enable disadvantaged children and youth to meet or exceed state standards. The word disadvantaged is in there because this is federal funding that is supplemental, and so you have to, as a district, show a need for this assistance from the federal government. These are my coworkers. Um, Catherine Turner is the Director of Federal Projects for the district. Tiffany Strong Moore is our Administrative Assistant, and I've already introduced myself. Our contact information will be up here, and it's also on the little yellow surveys that we've handed out, and we'll ask you to complete one of those little yellow surveys after I'm finished. Title I is parent-friendly legislation. We're required to give information to you as parents about how that funding is spent. We're going to talk about how much funding that is in the course of this presentation. Um, this is based on federal law, which is the Elementary and Secondary Education Act. And this part of the act, which is Title I, says that they want things to be fair throughout the country. So because we are a rural um, district, because we have um, some economic disadvantages, we're not as rich as Beaufort and Charleston, we receive um, a certain amount of funding. Interesting fact, though, however, Charleston and Beaufort do also receive very large Title I grants. We applied, the state of South Carolina applied for the ESO waiver. That means that the requirements of that law, formerly known as No Child Left Behind, were waived for us, and we adopted new standards that were still rigorous, still quickly paced, but a little bit easier than what the previous law was. You might remember the AYP system that was all or nothing, pass or fail. We now have AMOs. So this gives greater greater flexibility and it gives us greater flexibility. And this is the second year of this waiver. As you may have seen in the paper, based on this waiver, all schools receive a letter grade. Um, the letter grade is based on annual measurable objectives, so they set a place where your school is supposed to be based on the different subgroups that you have, all students overall, how they do on tests in English and math, social studies, um, and science, and then they break it down. Girls, boys, different races, if a student is disabled, they all have to meet that target and breaking it down into these subgroups lets us know where we can improve in helping our children. These are the most recent scores for each of the schools and for the district. The overall district score was 66.9, which was a D. You'll recall that in the previous year, Black Street um, did not receive a score. This year that score is a 56.1. That is based on results that don't come in until after the children leave here. They're not scored here. They don't actually take the test to create this score until they're like in second grade. So third grade, I'm sorry. So it's like if I tested you on what you were doing on a specific day four years ago, how many of you think that you would really be able to tell me? and then we raise your score in college on that. Um, this is also the information for the rest of the district, and we'll, <laughs> one of the things that we also will talk about a, a little bit more is that the standards go up every year. So if, for example, a 70 was a passing grade last year, it's like saying next year the passing grade will be 75. And the year after that, it'll be 80. And the year after that, it'll be 85. And so the standards constantly go up. 
and we have made progress every year. Unfortunately, we did not meet the standard that was set last year. This is the requirement um, for the schools that we serve. We are required to serve any school whose free or reduced lunch percentage is above 75%. We've chosen in this district to serve all of the schools listed, and we have to serve them in rank order based on their free and reduced lunch percentage. So the school that um, has that highest level this year is Hendersonville Elementary, and you can see Black Street is um, third on that list. This is the actual allocation. So this is the amount of federal funding that the schools are going to receive this year. So for this year, Black Street is receiving 230640 or 230640 Don't put the and until you get to the decimal. Um, dollars. The majority of that is going to go on staff. Basically, you reduce the class size as a priority for all of the schools. 95.8% um, of all of these funds are going towards salaries to reduce class size and provide interventions for students that need them. You can see lower on the list, after the salaries, after the instructional interventions or staff development, parent involvement and instructional supplies and materials. Parent involvement is required to receive 1% of the total allocation. And so we apply that 1% of the total allocation to parent involvement activities, which include activities to encourage you being here tonight. Um, you may have received in the past some books, like um, Curious George books and things that went home with your children. All of those were paid for through federal funds through parent involvement to build up um, libraries for your students. Parent involvement, as I mentioned, is a required component of Title I. And I'm, I'm going as fast as I can because I know it's hard to pay attention for a very long time when you're just little people and you've got little people who need things done. Um, we're required not only to give you information about what we do in Title I, but to encourage you to communicate with us and with this school. So during the course of the year, you'll receive surveys and reports from Title I and from the school. Um, some of those include a notification of this meeting, this meeting being on the agenda, um, and the uplift sessions that you'll hear about over the course of the year. We're continuing the literacy program, so there'll be more free books coming home with students every time you attend one of the um, sessions. They'll be available. Uplift is what we call our parenting sessions, and that is Parents United, United to Parents, lead, inspire, foster, and teach our children. We focused on bullying, healthy living, literacy, um, and in the past, we've also included topics on past testing and things like that. Of course, at this level, our strongest focus is literacy. These are the project managers at each school. So if you have children at more than one school, more than one Title I program manager at the school level will be serving you. And if you have any questions about Title I or what Title I is doing, um, you can speak to that person or you can get in contact with our office with the information that's on that blue and yellow piece of paper. You'll receive information at this meeting regarding the volunteer training. Um, this is a new procedure that was put in place to meet guidelines, especially to protect your children so that we know who's in the schools at all times and that they've received copper training on everything from bloodborne pathogens to passing um, to sexual harassment, that's a requirement, um, and the specific policies of the school. So if you are interested in volunteering, you will go through a process that will be explained to you at this meeting, and you'll have to attend one of these trainings. The Parent Involvement Program, which I'm the Parent Involvement Coordinator, provides a variety of things to parents, including the Pebble Go Program, which is pebblego.com. There will be little um, handouts passed out about that. And this is the second year that we've done it. This program is awesome. I have a seven-year-old who has used it in the past. Wonderful with reading. It will actually read articles in nonfiction to students. 
We also provide study buddies, which are handheld tutoring programs. We have a laptop loan program. And we annually support the Back to School Bash, which um, some of you may have attended. It was August 3rd this year, and it will be August 2nd next year. We have the Pebble Go system and the Study Buddy. The Study Buddy is a handheld self-paced tutoring device. Pebble Go provides games and supports. And we also have two internet connected desktops at the Parent Center. This is information about ways that we communicate with you. The federal law requires that we were communicate with parents in multiple ways. So not only do we invite you to meetings, not only do we send information home, but we also have to contact you through electronic means. So you'll receive information via auto dialer. You can access our website or the school's websites. The school district has recently acquired a new website system that will even provide alerts to you to your email. Um, the Title I office by itself has had over 13,000 page views just um, since 2011, which is when we instituted our own website. And we've actually had our websites visited from over 1,100 different metro areas. The most popular one, of course, being Walterboro, South Carolina. Please like us on Facebook and please complete our surveys. Since 2011, we have sent home over 28,000 copies of surveys. And we've gotten back fewer than 7,000. So if you see a survey, please complete it. This year we'll be continuing the incentives for completion of surveys. So the first class I think we did last time that has 100% completion can win a pizza party for the students in the class. We also awarded two Kindle Fires and a set, complete set of five uniforms for students who are grand prize winners district wide. This is our social network information. You can see we're on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. We have websites for our television program. If you have PRTC cable on channel 56 is the school district channel. And we'll be updating that regularly with um, notices of information and events such as tonight. That is your annual meeting. There is my contact information. I appreciate you listening and being so patient and coming out in the rain and all that good stuff. It is hard to be a parent, and you guys are doing a good job. So thank you so much for having me, and I'll turn it back over.